Welcome back ladies and gents. In today's video tutorial, I'll be looking at 6.5 inverse trigonometric functions. Before I look at inverse trigonometric functions, I'm going to do a quick recap of inverse functions in general. So, suppose I've got a function f of x. The notation for the inverse function of f of x is f to the power minus 1 of x. The question is, how are these two functions related graphically? Well, the functions f of x and the inverse function of f of x are related graphically in the sense that they are reflection of each other in the line y equal x. How do I work out the domain of the inverse function? Well, to find the domain of the inverse function, I just take the range of the original function. How do I work out the range of the inverse function? Well, the range of the inverse function is just the domain of the original function. For the domain of the inverse function, we use the notation x. And for the range of the inverse function, we use the notation f to the power minus 1 of x. Or you could just use y. Right. OK, so that's looking good. Now, let's look at sine to the power minus 1 x, sine inverse of x. Well, the notation that we are going to use for sine inverse of x will just be arc sine x. In the same way, for cos inverse of x and tan inverse of x, we will be using arc cos x and arc tan x, respectively. Okay? Very important notations. Right, okay. Now, I want to sketch y equal arc sine x for this particular interval over here. The question is, how do I do this? Well, I know that arc sine x is the inverse function of sine x. So if I sketch the graph of sine x for this particular interval, and I flip the domain and range, I will just get the graph of y equal arc sine x. Right, so let's start off with the graph of y equal sine x. I'm going to sketch it for this particular interval. The max is 1, the minimum is minus 1, pi over 2, pi, minus pi over 2, minus pi. Okay, there you have it. That's the graph of y equals sine x for this particular interval for x. Now, if I want the graph of y equal arc sine x, all I need to do is flip the domain and the range. So now I'm going to sketch y equal arc sine x. Okay, so for y equal arc sine x, the domain will be the range of y equal sine x. So the domain will be minus 1, to 1, okay, and the range of y equal arc sine x will just be the domain of y equal sine x. So we're looking at pi over 2, pi, then over here minus pi over 2, minus pi. Okay, so it's not too bad at the moment. Now I can sketch my graph, so the graph will look something like this over here. Something like that. Okay? Now, I want you all to sketch y equal arc cos x in this particular interval and y equal arc tan x in this particular interval. Once you've done that, I will be putting up both graphs on the board and you can check your work. Okay, so everyone should have something that looks like this for y equal arc cos x and something that looks like this for y equal arc tan x. This particular graph comes from y equal cos x flipping the domain and range 
and this particular graph over here comes from y equal tan x flipping the domain and range. Here is a typical exam question. Part A, find in terms of pi the value of arc sine a half minus arc sine minus a half. And part B, given that arc tan of x minus 2 in bracket is equal to minus pi over 3, find the value of x. Right, okay, let's look at part A first of all. The very first step <coughs> is to rewrite these two terms. So the first term you can write it as sine to the power minus 1 of a half minus the second term you can write it as sine to the power minus 1 of minus a half. It says find in terms of pi. So there is a pi involved, hence you need to put your calculator on radian mode. So I'm going to plug in this and this and the minus into my calculator to obtain the value of this particular expression in terms of pi. So shift sine of a half minus shift sine of minus a half. I get precisely pi over 3. That is my final answer. Part B, given that arc tan in bracket x minus 2 is equal minus pi over 3, find the value of x. My very first step is to rewrite arc tan in bracket x minus 2 as tan to the power minus 1 in bracket x minus 2 equal minus pi over 3. Now, the inverse of tan to the power minus 1 is just tan. So I can apply tan on both sides to cancel out the tan inverse. I get something like this, tan of tan inverse in bracket x minus 2 equal tan of minus pi over 3. Tan, tan inverse cancel each other to give me x minus 2 equal tan of minus pi over 3. So now I type tan of minus pi over 3 into my calculator and if I do that I get minus square root 3. All I need to do now is make x the subject. So if I make x the subject I obtain x equal to minus square root 3. So that there is the value of x. This completes the exam question and this particular video tutorial. If you found this video tutorial useful, please don't forget to subscribe.